There's no glue, there's no nothing. It clamps right on, pretty simple. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about our latest invention of the exhaust fan 7.0 and it's called the 7.0 because this is the seventh iteration of this. And before we talk about exactly what's going on here, let's talk about what led us to this final form, so to speak. Big fans of the channel know that this was the very first one that we started off with. This was the 1.0. I love this thing. It looked great. I think it still looks great. It's a little chonky, but it did, it, it worked, but then it worked great. We, did, we saw fan speed reductions in a delta of one, which was not great, really crappy, honestly, but overall had a lot of fun designing it. But this, led the road this is number two and this was a complete flop but number two led to number three which uh we did see a fan speed reduction um and maybe a degree cooler then we moved on to number four which actually worked the best and is actually is pretty nice and pretty sleek so number four has its own latching attachment to the steam deck which went ahead and went like this drops right to the steam deck you put it over the fan boom three to four degrees delta and a fan speed reduction of anywhere between eight to four hundred depending on how hot the game is running i would say 400 to be on the safe side but this was a great invention and as you can see we kept a lot going on with this then we moved into the 5.0 which looks almost identical to the 7.0 there are a bunch of design changes, especially with uh, our mounting mechanism that are different between these two, uh, mainly just for support. So the bottom is the best way to look at it. You'll notice that there are a lot more triangles on 7.0 than, than there are in this one because triangles are a very strong shape, uh, especially when it comes to 3D printing. Pretty much essentially the same as, is the same as our 4.0, but it's just nicer, cleaner, sleeker. And obviously we have the logo. So those are the main things, the difference between these two. Ultimately, these two essentially ran exactly the same. Uh, one key difference is the layout for the fan. The suction is in the center on this one where it was offset on this one on the left. And I only did that to make sure that this casing in the back that held the fan was symmetrical to the front. But then we changed that completely and we made um, it offset. But if you're looking at it straight up, it looks like it's symmetrical, but from top, from the top it is offset and that's and that fan is all oriented and kind of offset if you can see there then from the 5.0 we moved into the 6.0 which was a almost a nearly complete different design it's completely based off these two um but the main difference between this one is it was rocking a larger fan so we're doing a 75 by 75 millimeter blower style fan which was attached to the top of here just like so, and it mounted just like the other two does, the other two did, but it's just not as sleek. This was a, definitely a proof of concept design, and um, it showed a better performance with all of these, and a better performance of one to two degrees versus these two. But because of this, I expected this design to do a hell of a lot better than it did in its prior version, mainly because of the size of the fan. So that got me thinking which led to 6.0 because this was a complete failure in my opinion. 6.0 led to this little thing right here. Started off here. This is actually one of our off cuts. This is not exactly what it looked like. If you saw our previous video, this is what we started the video out in. And then towards the end, we came up with this one. So this is the 6.0 again. This is um, basically the same thing as this one, except we change the, the width here. It has less resistance as it shoots air to the top. The main issue with these ones was the air opening was too small so we had to make it a little bit wider and we went ahead and fixed that bottleneck right here and this showed really 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 good benefits this one alone showed the most promising of benefits and i believe the reason for that was because that there is more suction in this enclosure with this fan than it is with any of the other enclosures meaning there was too much, too little air resistance in here because it's such a big opening and both of these and including this one, super large cavity here. So air resistance was very minimal. And in here, it was a lot tighter, 
meaning there was a lot more uh, resistance, meaning there was a lot more suction coming from this fan. So this fan would pull air more aggressively through here. These 6.0 ones all led to 7.0. 7.0 is essentially 6.0 and 5.0 combined together with some changes that make it slightly better. Easy ones to point out is we have more triangles right here. It just makes the base more sturdy. Since these two points right here are very far apart and the further you are away from center of mass, the more likely you are gonna hinge and break. Pretty much the same as 5.0 except the mounting is different. So if we look in here, this channel is basically this channel just snugged up into here it's pretty much the same thing um, there are a few changes that we do need to make on this with these little teeth marks that hook onto the steam deck they're a little bit too wide but other than that everything fits pretty dang good so inside here we have a more restrictive air channel it is larger than this one but for the form and the size of this this mounting mechanism it needed to be in that shape and manner it's still pretty constricted honestly it's probably less air volume in here than it is in here but overall, I'm pretty happy with um, the restriction on this model. I actually haven't tested it yet, so we're actually going to test it together today. So that is the main difference between these two. This thing takes six hours to print, about another 20 minutes to clean up and assemble. It is printed with PLA filament, and it is rocking a 6,000 RPM 5-volt fan, and it does help cool your Steam Deck quite a bit, way better than you would than, ha than not to have this. You kind of know the story, the history of this freaking thing now. Let's talk, let's get into the test. It is currently 27.6 degrees. It's hot, it's 80 degrees here for my Fahrenheit boys. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this bad boy up. So while the Steam Deck heats up, this cooler was invented not to work by itself. This cooler is intended to work hand in hand with the Decky plugin, fantastic. There's two modes. There is standard mode or low, and there's high mode. So high and standard, the difference between standard and high is your fan curve. So standard is 5,400 RPMs on your fan, on your Steam Deck, and high is max, 7,000. And obviously you could live somewhere in the middle, but honestly, the, d the dB differences between standard and high are very, very minimal. So there's really no point to live in the middle of there. So real quick, if you don't know what Decky is, you need to download it. I'll send a link to maybe a video or a tutorial to do that in the descriptions below. And you need to download the Fantastic app. So that's this app right here. It allows you control fan speeds on your Steam Deck that you need to have the Decky loader and Fantastic or you're not really gonna get the best benefit out of this. Maybe an average of three to four degree delta. On best case scenario, you would probably get a little bit higher than that, close to the five and six. But the main issue, if you watched the last video, is the problem is this thing reduces fan speed so low that you could get five to six degree delta, but when the fan speed drops on a Steam Deck because you do not have the fantastic plugin, this thing will underperform and you will go back into that three to four range. And that's one thing I noticed with any of these fans that are exhaust fans, including the JSOX fan. They all work better with the Decky loader. They all work really better because if you're going this route, you already don't care about noise. So might as well not worry about how loud it is. All right, so we're gonna let this bad boy cool down. Um, we're probably gonna settle around the 80, 81. It is a lot warmer in the room today. The beautiful thing of this mount, it hooks on to our Steam Deck relatively easy. We have grooves here that will hook onto these outer vents. We will be slightly clogging them, but the rest of the opening will be completely free. Then we can uh, crank this fan on and remember, this fan does not have any settings. It's all or nothing with this fan. It's 6,000 RPM. And we have it connected to a old USB plug I have. And we went as far to heat shrink these things. So you have a pretty strong connection. And all the ones that I will be 
giving away and our, our giveaway, giveaway and our giveaway will all have something similar to this. I'm literally gonna use USB A ones because I have a lot of them. If you wanna upgrade that in the future, feel free. It's just, you can just swap out the plugs, but they're all be coming with this USB A, great for when you're in dock mode. And the beauty, beautiful thing about this thing is it actually is your dock too. This feet right here, it was semi-designed, semi-designed to hold your Steam Deck up. It actually was designed for more of a clamping feature and it was flat in the bottom for print printing issues, but it actually works well as a dock because as you can see, it stands relatively well on its own. So 8081, so obviously it's gonna be warmer. The room is warmer today and our fan speed is currently at 5,300 RPM and our DB 44.5. Okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and strap in our cooler. All right, let's see how well this thing will cool our Steam Deck down. So it actually has these hooks so it doesn't slide and just get it in the right position and that's it only issue is i don't i didn't really design this thing to work on its back so we're gonna have to adjust the camera db is at 45 fan speed has dropped to 4900 and we are currently at a delta of three if you just tuned in right now remember this freaking mod was meant to run with the steam deck decky loader fantastic i did not design this thing to run solo by itself like it is right now but i just want to see what you can get if you were to run it solo by itself oh my god it is literally eight degrees uh almost 10 degrees cold warmer today than it was any previous day of testing so that's why when i do this testing i always have to get a stock reading the same day i test because Temperature matters. Temperature matters. Room temperature matters. And while we're talking about that, we just hit 78, so we're at delta of four. We are rocking our JSOX backplate. There is no thermal pad behind here, so notice that I can actually touch it for a long period of time. It's still pretty warm, but there is no thermal pad back there. It's actually right there on the desk. The closest thing I have to a stock JSOX backplate, so I'm gonna use it for my testing. So we're at 78, so we knew, I knew from our prior testing, we were always good between a minimum of three to four. We hit four. Let's see if we can get that 77. And then after that 77, that five, I think that's good for the fan running solo. I'm gonna go ahead and just call it at 78 for this testing. Um, it's a warm day. You know, it's a warm day. And then now we're gonna go ahead and set the fan speed at 5,400. What I noticed was if we had the fan speed at 5,400-ish, our DB didn't go up any louder than it normally did with just this fan on. So for today, it's gonna be roughly 5,600 RPM. So it's really hard to get this thing where you want it. So we're gonna keep at 5,600 because our DB is roughly the same as it was with just a fan on without the fantastic mod. So now you can see we're holding at 77. So it looks like we're for sure good at 76. So that's a delta of six from stock. But since it's so hot here today, I, honestly, I don't think we're, it's gonna take so long for us to hit that 75. Um, I'm not gonna bother. So what I'm gonna do now, and now we're gonna max out our fan. Fan is at 7,000 RPMs. 49.6 is the db so let's put 49.5 just to make the math either easier all right guys so we're pretty much locked in here at 72 73 on the gpu and cpu with the fan speed at 7000 rpms and the db of 49.5 so we have a total delta of nine degrees with our new cooler entangled with our Steam Deck, Decky, Fantastic, App, Loader, whatever you want to call it. They have to work in tandem. These two systems need to work together for them to work. All right, guys. So overall, in today's testing, we got a 9 degree delta. Um, and other testings, it's kind of, kind of where I'm at. 10, anywhere between 11 and 9. Obviously, room temperature has a huge, 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 huge um, factor in all of this. Um, today was a really hot day, so I think this was a really good test uh, to see how well this cooler will actually work on your Steam Deck. Because obviously, most you know, some people are going to be in higher climates, 
And the fact is that this thing actually works. It was actually pretty warm too. It's probably cooler now, but man, this thing was hot. 44? <laughs> this thing was hot. Guys, I did it. I finally did it. An exhaust fan that actually works. We started from this one, the 1.0. We're at the 7.0. And this thing freaking works and I love it. It is exactly what I wanted it to be. I love the jankness of it, even though I think it looks pretty sleek. I love how it attaches. You go ahead and take these grooves, stick it into the vents right here, pull the bottom tab over, and I just kind of slide a bit so it locks into place and it doubles as a dock. And you have plenty of room to plug in your headphones power cords, no, everything is nice and free. Um, it is not designed to lay work laying flat on its back like this, unfortunately, but it's still really good in the handheld mode. And if you need to set down your Steam Deck real quick, it is not a problem to set it on the table. If you want to swap out the USB with a USB-C easily, you can get a dongle adapter or you can switch out the cable completely. It's pretty simple, red and black wire, splice it, heat shrink, bada bing bada boom you can change it no problem you want to attach a battery to this that's not a problem but i most people i think are going to use this with i with a dongle in dock mode or you're going to swap out usb a with a usb c which is something you can do relatively easily and like i've mentioned several times i am not selling this i will not be releasing the stl files for this so the only way you're gonna get one of these is if you win one. So the main reason why I'm not selling this, this fan is not that I don't see the value in it. I just ultimately, you know, this thing took a lot of time to design and it's not better than a lot of things out there. It's just not. And the, I don't think that was the point behind this. The point behind this exhaust fan, in my opinion, was just to have fun. I wanted to have fun. My whole goal behind this thing was never to make any money off this. My whole goal behind any of this is not to make money off anything. I just want, I would like to recoup some of the money I've spent, but ultimately my goal is to enjoy what I'm doing. I'm, I'm having fun tinkering, creating. I'm having fun interacting with the community. And that's why this fan will only go out to the community. That's it. It's, it's, it's for you guys. I feel like you're much a uh, part of the journey as I am. I'm the one captaining and steering the ship and you guys are just the ones, the stowaways, it's just been sitting on board trying to figure out where the hell we're going with this thing. And here we are, we, we've gone it, we've made it, we've there. Just know that there's gonna be more. They're probably gonna progress in design a little bit as we go because I'm sure a lot of you that win it are going to have some feedback or after this video are going to have some feedback and I want it to be growing I want it to evolve 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 and I think that's that's worth more to me than money this thing like the money uh, who cares man this was just a lot fun to make it was a lot of fun to design even though it got stressful at times because it you know you didn't see behind the scenes <laughs> it got a little stressful at times there are a lot of failed prints <laughs> And that's it guys that is it this is the exhaust fan 7.0 and it freaking works it works great and it could be yours today well not today it obviously i have to pick a winner and the ship and all that fun stuff but it could be yours today by hitting that like making sure you hit that subscribe and commenting below on which platform you follow me on is it twitter or instagram and the reason i need that is because after i pick my winner I'm gonna go ahead and message them in either or of those platforms. I will not message you on YouTube. It's gonna be either Twitter or Instagram and I'll have those links below if you don't follow me currently and it doesn't hurt to follow me on both. It won't help, but it doesn't hurt. Guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully um, you guys enjoyed this journey. My day oneers who saw the very first version of this, come a long way, come a long way. This one was cool, but didn't work. This one. It's freaking cool and it does work so we were we're falling in the right direction thank you guys for watching hit that like hit the subscribe and if you really want to help this channel out guys diypoppy.net pick up a shirt guys thank you again i'll catch you on the next one